In this particular problem, we're going to use going to solve for a side length instead of finding the angle measure. Still use the same functions, sine, cosine, tangent, and just instead we're going to be looking for a side versus the angle. So my first step is still to label my triangle based on my angle given. So my angle given is 36 degrees. So draw a line straight across. This is my opposite side. My side opposite the right angle is my hypotenuse. And of course, by default, my third side is my adjacent side. Now, we are looking for the opposite side in relation to our 36 degree angle. And we're given a value for the hypotenuse, which is 10. So the function that uses opposite and hypotenuse is our sine function. Or so a sine of our angle is equal to the opposite side divided by our hypotenuse. So I fill in my, inf my uh, information from my image. So remember, theta is, represents our angle. My opposite side is what I'm solving for and my hypotenuse has a value of 10. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put the sine of 36 degrees over 1 to create a fraction. By doing this, what I have created is a proportion, two fractions that are equal to each other. And we can solve proportions by cross multiplying. So I'm going to do x times 1 and then 10 times the sine of 36 degrees. So I get x equals 10 times the sine of 36 degrees. Now, if you're using the TI calculator, you can literally type into the calculator 10 times. And in this case, we're going to use regular sign button. We're not going to be using our second button because in this case we have the angle measure. So what we need is the decimal value of the sine function at 36 degrees. So just the regular sign button and then 36 and that will give you your answer. Now if you're using your iPhone um, because of the way the keystrokes work, you will need to type 36 and then hit the sign button. Now make sure the second button is turned off because I don't want sign to the negative one, I just want plain old sign in this particular case. And that's gonna give you a decimal value, okay? And whatever decimal value that is, you're going to multiply that, so take that answer and multiply it times 10. Um, the same thing would be as if you were using the trig table. You would go down the sine column till you got to 36 degrees to find out what the decimal value is. Um, and the sine of 36 degrees at four decimal places is 0.5877. And when we multiply that times 10, we do get a length of 5.87. So that is the length of the opposite side of our triangle that has a 36 degree angle. Now, <clears throat> one other one I'd like to show you is when you have to solve, you're solving for a side length that happens to be in the denominator of our function. So in this particular case, here we have a 73 degree angle. If this is my angle, this is my opposite side. Here is my hypotenuse across from my right angle. And so this is my adjacent side. So, I have a value for the adjacent side and I'm looking for the hypotenuse. So based on my acronym SOHCAHTOA, I'm gonna be using the cosine function. And 
Now when I fill in my information, I'm going to have the cosine of 73 degrees equals the adjacent side, which is 19, and I'm solving for the hypotenuse, which is represented by x. Now, we're still going to cross multiply to solve for x, because I still have a proportion by putting the cosine of 73 over 1. Um, but this time, you'll notice that I'm going to do 19 times 1 equals 19, and that will equal x times the cosine of 73 degrees. Now, you notice that this is a little different because I don't have x by itself. In my previous example, when I cross-multiplied, I had x equals times the 10, times 10 sine of 36. But I don't have that here. Right, in every algebraic equation, we need x to be by itself to get to fully solve our equation. So, to do that, what we're going to do, we're going to treat the cosine of 73 just like any coefficient, and we're going to divide both sides of my equation by the cosine of 73. Because anything divided by, my, by itself is 1, so these cancel out giving me x equals 19 divided by the cosine of 73 degrees. Now, if you have the TIAC calculator, you can literally just plug in straight into the calculator 19 divided by cosine, regular cosine, no second button, 19 divided by cosine 73. Um, if you are using the trig table or your iPhone, you're going to need to get that decimal value of the cosine of 73 first. Now, if you're using your iPhone, you're going to type 73 and then hit uh, cosine. Now, remember, make sure that second button is turned off because what we're looking for is a decimal. So that's 0.29. To three. And we always go four decimal places to ensure accuracy. And then using your um, iPhone or calculator, if now that you have the uh, decimal value, this is the same as 19 divided by 0.2923. And that will give me a value of 19 divided by cosine 73 gives me a value of 64.98, which we could, because it's so close, we could round that to 65. And that would be my final answer.